The topic of this video is intervals, inequalities, and number line graphs. Let's look at some problems. Convert the number line graph into an interval and an inequality involving x. Okay, so the first thing we see on our number line is that there is a green shaded region. The shaded region is the collection of numbers that we're trying to communicate to another person. You might notice that there's green shading to the right of negative 5, but no shading to the left of negative 5. So this number line is communicating that we want all of the numbers that are negative 5 or larger. When we write an interval, intervals must always be written with the smallest quantity on the left and the largest quantity on the right. On a number line, the smallest quantity is the shaded that is closest to the left side. So the shaded value closest to the left side is negative 5. And because the shading goes forever to the right, the rightmost value of our interval will be infinity. Infinity and negative infinity always get the parenthesis symbol next to them. On our number line, the negative 5 has a bracket, therefore our interval does as well. So to write this graph number line as an interval, we would say bracket negative 5 comma infinity parenthesis. Now, as for writing it as an inequality, we have to imagine that any shaded number is x. So what do all of the shaded numbers have in common? The first thing you want to pay attention to is the part of the number line where we change from unshaded to shaded. As we travel from left to right, we swap from unshaded to shaded at negative 5. So negative 5 is our comparison value. All of the shaded numbers are to the right of negative 5, which means they are all greater than negative 5. Greater than to the right. Less than to the left. All right, so greater than negative 5, we would write the inequality x is greater than or equal to negative 5. All right, so these are our two answers for the top problem. Okay, let's move on to our next problem. Convert the interval negative infinity comma 6 into a number line graph and an inequality involving x. All right, first let's make it into a number line graph. An interval tells us the smallest and largest numbers. So the smallest number is negative infinity, which means we start shading on the far left side of our number line, and we continue shading until we reach the number 6. So the only number that I absolutely have to have on my number line is 6, and I'm going to shade from negative infinity all the way until I reach 6. Now when I get to 6, I have to decide what symbol to put there. Since there's a parenthesis symbol in the interval, then there will be a parenthesis symbol on the number line as well. This indicates that we want to get as close to 6 as possible, but not actually reach it. For example, 5.9, 5.99, 5.999, 9, and so on, but never quite reaching 6. All right, so we've made our graph. Now, how about our inequality? Well, we notice that the dividing line between shaded and unshaded is 6. So our number line is going to look like this, an x and a 6. We just have to decide what's the symbol that goes in between. Well, the shading is to the left, so we will use a less than symbol to indicate our inequality's sense or direction. So this is the answer to our second problem. This is the inequality. This is the number line graph.